Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a review on my a uh, my uh, Axial Wraith kit version. So starting off here with my custom made uh, panels. These panels are actually for roofing, but I cut them down to size, and then they fit pretty good. They're nice and strong. I did the glacier white color. Second, I have 2.2 XL RC four-wheel drive mud slingers. Uh, these tires costed me about 70 to 80 dollars, but I can say they're worth it. They're better than the stock tires. Here, I'll uh, show you the stock tires here. There we go. So, here are the two dot tires compared. Even though that the um, triple doors that came with it, they are 2.2s, but either axial tires, they run big, or RC4. Well, we'll drive tires from small. Um, so these are the same size. I just didn't really like the tread on these ones. They didn't hook up good in slippery surfaces. Only rocks. These tires hook up good on all different surfaces. Whether that's pavement, gravel, even though I don't really drive it on pavement, rocks, mud, dirt. All those things these tires are great at. Now, second, I actually have a nut, this custom panel right there. It is actually another piece of roofing, and I have a fake 3D printed winch that mounts right up there, but it fell off. Uh, speaking of like 3D printed accessories, I also have an axe and a pry bar, and a shovel over there. So, uh, I also have a jerry can in the back here. I have, and then it also came with a jack, uh, like a high lift jack, and the winch. In this vehicle, I also have the shocks, the axial shocks that come with the kit. They're great. They're 107 millimeters, plenty of travel. I mean, this thing gets up there, so I mean, it's not too bad. Um, Probably about seven, eight inches of travel. In, in this truck, I also have the... the I'll get to that in a minute. Um, I have a Savox waterproof servo. Savox waterproof servo. Um, with an aluminum servo horn. It's also an aluminum case that's on it. I also, on this vehicle, run a uh, 1060 amp hobby wing ESC a 55 turn axial motor in the transmission I have steel gears by um I can't remember the name right now but the reason I got the stock gear, or the metal steel gears, because I shredded this gear right there. Shredded the teeth right off of it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Not really wanting to focus, but... I shredded the teeth off that, so I just bought a whole 
steel, uh, yeah, whole steel set for about thirty dollars. Um, I painted the cage blue with just normal Walmart spray paint. Um, I don't. I did that. Um, it's called the fastback conversion, where you cut off the back of the race cage. Because the cage used to go up and then down. Well, what you do is you cut it off and then you put A arm or links going down. And then they just screw right into there and there. And it's it looks like a Jeep. I do uh I do have the stock rims. They're bead locks. A little bit muddy. Sorry, this truck is muddy. I haven't cleaned it. Um I also have a two cell battery that goes in this truck, but currently it is now up at the shop with my other car, my Helion Dominus, um, but the reason that thing's up at the shop is because it has problems, it's not doing so well. Uh, in this vehicle, we also have, I don't know if you can see that right in there I have um, aluminum steering knuckles uh, in the future I want to get the um, aluminum rear axle lockouts I'm pretty sure is what they're called um it the kit does come with these these aluminum links that I have on the back but the problem with them is that they have these plastic ends see and what happens is there's a metal rod that goes through there and what happens is the plastic ends snap so, I just put the normal plastic ones on, the stock plastic ones. They are a lot more durable, I say. Um, by the way, this is a custom made wood stand. I, well, actually, not custom made. Homemade wood stand. Um, inside, I actually have a Spectrum 4 channel receiver. Oh, uh, it's right outside that box. I don't know if you can see that. But, um, right in that box in there. But, um, uh, the remote is up at the shop. The remote is a DX5C. It is a five channel remote. I have a four channel in this, a two channel in my Helion. Um, I don't really need four channels in this, saying I don't have, like, a light bar or anything, but I am going, I am going to have a, get a light bar, but, oh, well, I guess I already kind of have one, because I have this roof rack that I got for this thing, and it comes with LED lights, that actually work pretty well. Oh, uh, I got, like, the copper rusted color. And I'm going to make a roof panel to where it fits this thing. So it's probably going to be a, sit about like right there. Almost about right there, yeah. So it'll be cool. I'm going to have lights up there. A big old roof rack on there. It would have been even better if I still had the back on it, but honestly, I don't really care. I also have this little dangling on and off switch. It, I haven't glued it or velcroed it anywhere, so it dangles. It gets smashed on rocks, saying how beaten it is. Um, other than that, that's really it for this truck. Um, you know... I'm really, I really like this truck. It's like, uh, it, I had a 20 turn in it. I blew up the 20 turn. 
this motor in here actually caught the truck on fire. How? Well, I found out that carburetor cleaner is flammable. I sprayed out the motor with carburetor cleaner, and it left like a puddle in the battery tray. Or not in the battery tray, the skid plate. And the motor sparked, and the carburetor cleaner caught on fire. And I ran in the shop, yelling and screaming, because I was up at the shop, and grabbed the fire extinguisher. I didn't know how to use it. Uh, my mom grabbed it. She blew it out. And luckily, nothing was melted. It didn't burn long enough for it to melt. But the reason it was sparking is because... Um, we recently, or we went to, up at a, our hunting spot, we went and there's lots of ash on the ground because there was just a forest fire there like three years ago. So there was ash in the motor. So what we did is we cleaned it out like you would basically break in a motor. And then now it's still working, running fine, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, other than that, though, I mean, this truck is pretty stock. Uh, so, if you liked the video, like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment, because, uh, telling me if you guys know about the grinding sound that my helium is making. Because I've checked the gears, I've checked the bearings, I've checked everything possible. I don't know if it's the motor, I don't know if it's the ESC, I don't know if something's worn out, if there's a missing tooth on something, like on some gear, I don't know. So, um, please leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, see you next time.